The death of a Grossmont High School teenager over the weekend as people speaking out about the dangers of street racing. Welcome back. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. I'm Marcella Lee. As News 8's David Godfordson reports, a family friend of the victim has a message to teenagers to drive safely. His name all over the car because he always loved driving, so I just put his name all over my car. This teenager painted the name of his best friend from Grossmont High School on his car. 16-year-old Gotti Cruz died early Saturday morning. Three passengers in the car were taken to the hospital in serious condition. That night, I think he lost control racing and then he crashed. El Cajon police say Cruz was not wearing a seat belt while driving at a high rate of speed when he lost control and hit a pole on Fletcher Parkway. The victim's friend told News 8 the teenager would race his Honda Civic and then post videos on Instagram. Me and Gotti, me and him always drive. He likes driving. In his videos you can see on Instagram, me and him always race around. Cruz's Instagram page has multiple videos of a Honda Civic racing on the streets. The speedometer shows the vehicle going more than 100 miles per hour on freeways. His friend says Cruz would go out with his friends and drive fast. I wouldn't let him do that. When I'm in his car with him, I wouldn't let him drive that fast because I know he cannot control that car. News 8 spoke with Cruz's father at a candlelight vigil Sunday night. I miss him. I need him. I love him. He's my hero. We also caught up with family friend Eli Karam, who had this message for other teenagers on the road. I say to the youth to drive safely, please consider uh, that driving is not a tool for racing. Uh, it could be very dangerous. And uh, be careful and uh, be ready because uh, Jesus is coming soon. Now, the police investigation has not revealed whether Cruz was actually racing another vehicle or simply racing down the road solo. Uh, the family has set up a GoFundMe page to help with funeral expenses for their son. We've posted a link at CBS8.com. Uh, David, even though the, we haven't worked out the exact details, we, we can still talk about street racing. And there used to be a safe alternative for people to do this. There used to be a nonprofit called Race Legal, where kids and adults could race in the stadium parking lot. What happened to that program? Unfortunately, that program went away. Race Legal shut down in 2019. It operated at the stadium, and as you uh, know, the stadium is currently under uh, redevelopment now. So there is no legal alternative uh, for racers to, you know, have safety protocols and be off the streets. Uh, a virtual prayer service for Gotti Cruz will be live on Instagram tonight at 7.30 p.m tragic end to a young life. David Gofferson reporting. Thanks, David.